Would you look at that? The Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus here on Unbox Therapy. That doesn't make any sense. This phone is not out yet. It hasn't even been announced yet. So what is this box right here then? Well, it's what I think is a high quality knockoff of the eventual Galaxy S9. This was shipped to me from China. It's around a hundred bucks and I have three colors here. Look, it even has this Samsung logo at the top here. Do not accept if seal is broken, but like that's not even sealing anything. The font looks a little off. The real box for the S9 doesn't exist yet, so... That phone just turned on in the package. I just heard a chime. They claim it's an AMOLED display. I'm very skeptical of that for $100. Dual pixel, 12 megapixel cameras. They copied what they think the S9 box is gonna look like, and it's honestly, it's pretty close. This wouldn't be dipped in like that. Ooh, in the gold. The power brick looks exactly like the Samsung power brick. A headset, USB type C. Ooh. Reasonably high quality? Feels heavy enough. The thinking at this moment is that the fingerprint scanner is gonna move to this location here. There was a lot of criticism about the placement on the S8, S8 Plus because it was placed next to the camera and it was the same shape. This design here seems much better. It also looks like the dual lenses are recessed a little bit more into the body of the device. Could you grab me an S8? That's the old location and you can see it was next to the camera lens. Button layout is identical though. USB type C, headphone jack is still there, and a speaker. You can assume that they've gone in and tried to skin it as closely as possible. This is definitely not stock Android. It's meant to look like a Galaxy S9. The haptic feedback has a little more buzz to it. Since it is a $100 device, there's a little bit of lag there that's perceivable. You would not expect this to be a top performer, all things considered. Can't be OLED though. It's obvious now, this is definitely not OLED. From my angle, this display is very dim. You see, look, you got quite a bit of a bigger chin there. No one expects to see that in the finished product. How are you gonna get a bigger bezel? Now, Never mind the camera, that's worth trying out too. Crazy slow shutter. <laughs> it's not as bad as I expected. The camera app itself, that's not what Samsung's app looks like. I can't imagine the eventual S9 being this heavy. I should try out the fingerprint scanner in that location there though, because that is one of the biggest developments, believe it or not. This one over here got so much criticism and I love that when people complain about a particular decision and then the manufacturer goes back and, and makes the adjustment. All right, so that's the gold model. You would never pull out a brand new Samsung phone and have these smudges on it. But I do have to say, the blue is uh, kind of nice. That's the black right there. It's pretty close to the regular S8 black. Look at how much of a fingerprint magnet the real deal even is. So these colors here are informed by the history of Samsung's color choices. I think they called this one champagne or... But it's also worth noting that if this is the eventual design, it's kind of a more iterative one. It's not a huge adjustment to the previous version. It's not like they went back and tried to reinvent the wheel here. Of course, with glass, you also get wireless charging capabilities, and it just seems to be the direction that everyone's going in now. Now keep in mind, these are nothing but clones. These are, this is speculation in a physical form. It would be unlikely for a manufacturer to do that unless they were fairly confident that this would be close to the eventual model. Of course, I do not recommend going to buy these things. These things are crazy sketchy. Let's try to play some YouTube here and see what happens. <laughs> Get better battery life, we have to have bigger batteries. Not good. I wanna play the speaker on the real one. Might as well, it's right here. Way better. <laughs> Night and day. I mean, you gotta give the knockoff artists some credit though. 99 bucks, they put the package together, holy smokes. But uh, I'm sticking to my guns here. You're gonna want to avoid this one and wait for the real thing. It has kind of piqued my interest a little bit more in the eventual S9 now. I used the S8 for an extended period of time. The camera's really good. Of course, the display. All signs are pointing to an improvement on the previous version, and that's really what you hope to see. Now, granted, you can always be out there wishing 
and, and hoping that the next version of each phone is like a completely new and shocking thing, but that's just not realistic. Once you have something that's good, it just makes more sense to build on top of it. But who knows, the actual S9 or S9 Plus, it might be my favorite. We'll see, can it knock off the Pixel 2 XL? If Samsung's implementation of the dual system is finally the killer implementation that everyone's always wanted, this phone could crush. I hope it's not a thousand bucks to start, but of course time will tell. As I said, don't buy the clone. Kind of cool nonetheless.